Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at AI NPCs in VR in Unreal Engine 5.3. Now, as you all know, I think last year, a year and a half ago, I created this small multiplayer metaverse where we kind of just all hang out. I think it was 10 or 12 of us, and we were kind of hanging out. And I told y'all that the next step for it was going to be virtual reality. Well, uh, I think yesterday I made a tutorial on this new mod for Unreal Engine 5 called UEVR. So I honestly didn't expect it to come this soon, but finally I'm going to be able to do VR experiences, although not replicated just yet, in Unreal Engine 5. So, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at right now. Okay, so I have it already in the description below. I put the tutorial, but basically I'm going to back up here. And I'm not going to stand up so that I can kind of keep my head steady. We have this cyberpunk environment that I just purchased in the marketplace. We also have Convey. All right. We have AI connected here. So right now I'm just testing out a couple of characters. So we have one, two. It's a little bit crooked. So let me, let me strain that out a little bit. Okay, so we have one, two, three. We have we should have three characters right now. So we have a bartender, we have a uh, what do you call that? A bouncer, and we have a character on the left, which is um, just kind of like a person hanging out in the club. So we're gonna talk to the uh, the bouncer first because he's looking a little bit suspicious here. All right, so I have this plugged in already, convey. <laughs> Let's see if I let's see if I can get close to this dude. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up? How can I help you? What are you doing here? I'm here as the head bouncer at Nocturne Haven, making sure everything runs smoothly and everyone stays safe. All right, why are you all sweaty? I've been keeping an eye on things and handling some situations. It can get a bit intense at times, but it's all part of the job. Are you sure you're just not eating donuts? No, I don't eat donuts while on duty. I take my job seriously. Can you dance? I'm more focused on ensuring the safety and security of the club, so dancing isn't really my thing. But I can appreciate a good dance floor and the energy it brings. All right, man. Nice talking to you. Likewise, take care and enjoy your time at Nocturne Haven. Yeah, lay off the donuts, though, okay? I appreciate your concern, but rest assured, I prioritize my fitness and well-being. Donuts are not part of my routine. All right, so that's the bouncer. <laughs> Is one suspicious looking character. I'll tell you that right now, bro. Quick ad if you haven't seen the Learte Studio Extravaganza Limited Time Mega Discount Game Dev Bundle 19 Plus Packs Unity Unreal Engine Environments. Usually this is $1,294, $100, but if you use my coupon code and my link, in the comments and description below, you can get it for $29. So all of this right here for $29, bucks, it's a freaking crazy deal. Okay, so who are you? I apologize for any confusion. I am Fizz, the head mixologist at Inferno Nightclub. How can I assist you today? Well, what kind of drinks do you have? At Inferno Nightclub, we offer a wide range of signature cocktails that are carefully crafted to evoke a cinematic experience. From smoky and mysterious concoctions inspired by film noir to vibrant and refreshing elixirs inspired by modern blockbusters, our drink menu is designed to captivate your senses. Is there a specific type of cocktail you're interested in? No, can I just ask you a question? Of course! Feel free to ask me any question you have, and I'll do my best to provide you with an answer. What would you like to know? I know you're not supposed to give out opinions, but in your opinion, who is the GOAT? Michael Jordan or LeBron James? As a mixologist, I don't have personal opinions on sports figures. Both Michael Jordan and LeBron James are highly accomplished athletes who have made significant contributions to the game of basketball. The greatest of all time debate is subjective and varies depending on individual perspectives. All right, then. That's fair. 
Uh, who owns this club? Inferno Nightclub is owned by JS Films, a visionary in the entertainment industry. The club's owner has a passion for blending film noir aesthetics with contemporary nightlife, creating a unique and captivating experience for guests. That's cool. All right. Well, nice talking to you. Thank you. It was a pleasure talking to you as well. If you have any more questions or need assistance in the future, feel free to reach out. Have a great All right. So this is kind of like the mature part coming up. So if you're a kid, stop watching this video right now. So we're going to walk over to the left because I do have another character right here. Again, this is, you know, for mature audiences only. And I tag this on YouTube as well. I don't want little kids seeing this, but I mean, I'm not going to show any like nudity or anything like that. Uh, there's probably worse stuff on YouTube, but here it is. Hello there. What's your name? Hello, my name is Lucy. How can I assist you today? Uh, yeah, nice flip flops. Thank you. I find them comfortable for my missions. Is there something specific you would? Now, what are you doing here? I am currently engaged in a conversation with you. Is there something specific you would like to discuss or inquire about? Um, where are you from? I come from a cyberpunk world where technology and secrecy intertwine. Is there something specific you would like to know about my background or experiences? Yeah, where'd you get those flip-flops from? I acquired these flip-flops from a local vendor in the underground markets. They're not just stylish, but also practical for my line of work. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Yeah, follow me. Sure, I'll follow you. Where are we headed? All right, you can stop right there. Understood. I'll stop here. Let me know if there's anything else I can assist you with. Yeah, can you, uh, do you know how to dance? Yes, I know how to dance. Would you like to see? I, I, I think I'm seeing it now. All right. So, when I talked about VR, right, in my opinion, this mod, this UEVR, is a lot better than traditional VR right now. Now, obviously, it's not really a one-to-one -one comparison. But a couple of things that this VR mod is capable of doing are obviously rendering metahumans with no issues. Right now, I'm running this on a laptop, and unfortunately, they don't look as good as I would like them to be because the actual settings are just set on high, right? Because of performances. But for me to be able to render these metahumans in a VR environment with really just one click of a button with physics, with cloth physics, with jiggle physics, I mean, that's insane, right? So that's pretty much it for this video. This is a very, very small test right now. And you can probably guess where I'm going to go with this. I've been trying to do something like this for a long time. And what I'm going to try to figure out next is obviously getting this replicated, filling it with more people to see how much more people we can fit in here. Maybe whenever down the road, actually share this experience with people and they can use their own Convey account to talk to these individuals, use your own key. So that being said, that's pretty much it for this quick test. I am going to be doing a lot more tests. I'm going to eventually try to see if I can get DLSS 3 to work in here and NVIDIA RTX DI to really just push the fidelity because this environment right here actually, I believe has some big lighting in it. You can probably tell in the bar, which really didn't look too good. But at the end of the day, I want to get more people in here and make the environment look a little bit more better. That said, I hope you all liked that little demonstration. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.